And the way you present it does make it kind of clear to understand. But it's that point where you have that feeling inside that you know, you know, you know it can't just be random. But you, you, you can't actually verbalise it. And I think the stuff you went through with regards to information and why information is supernatural and how it's encoded in nature, which means you know, creation. Um, when I watch, it, it's a it's a thing that just answers that that natural little niggle that we all have that we you know believe it, but to think we come from nothing. Um, yeah, I think the one that that presentation did John addresses that uh, more eloquent than I'm praising it. <laughs> Thank you. E. Well, uh, I got one more question, very pertinent to what Adam was just saying. So what's the difference between something which is abstract and something which is supernatural? Or is everything that is abstract supernatural? For example, love. That's a good question. Well, information's not abstract, but it's supernatural, so that destroys it. <laughs> well, maybe we could say that Physically, information is not abstract, but from a consciousness perspective is how we actually deal with information and interpret it could be abstract. It's a good question though. I'm starting, I'm thinking about it. I said that uh, off the cuff. Um, now, when you're saying abstract, let's get down to the definition. So abstract is uh, without physical attributes. Would that be fair? Yep, something which only exists in the form of ideas in our minds. Yep, and obviously information is not physical, so under that definition, it would be abstract, right? Mm -hmm. It should be. But it yep. actually exists, right? Right. Yeah, see, that's, see, yeah, 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 that's a little... Ooh, paradox. There, there. But I don't think. I don't think love, there's. Just hold. Relax. Relax. Yep. It's a good question. It's something that I would have to ponder for a little while, and then give you an answer. But I, I don't know if it's a par. It could be a paradox. However, all of those statements are true. So, go ahead. So, why this question came into my mind is that I teach English. And when I start in the first chapter, I come across nouns. And one kind of nouns is abstract nouns. And when I give them examples of abstract nouns, I say love, peace, beauty. Yep. These are examples of abstract nouns. Yes. So, but love exists. Just like information, love also exists. You cannot yep. deny the existence of love. But can you say love is supernatural? Yes. So... Again, where is the distinction between abstract and supernatural? I don't, I, yeah, I, I think there's some crossover, uh, mainly all of it. However, I think there are special cases, right? With mm -hmm. this, with this, because you can definitely see, you can put information into a, an experiment. Information can be an independent variable. Remember the three criterion I stated. I said, number one, it, it's your cause. It's your presumed cause. Number two, it must be able to vary and manipulate it. The researcher must be able to. And number three, mm -hmm. it must demonstrably exist. So mm, wasn't wasn't one of the points that it should be physical? I did not say that, no. No. Nope. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it back. Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and grab it. Make sure, okay? Because you might be right. Let's see what we got. Um, where was that? Go ahead and switch over one second. No, I don't want to switch to that. I want to switch to that. So, independent variable, I think it's down here. <clears throat> oh, did I pass it? Yes. All right, so I said, remember, viable independent variables must satisfy three criterion number one it's your presumed cause number two the researcher must be able to vary and manipulate it and number three the independent variable must demonstrably exist 
before you use it in an experiment. I am vindicated. Yeah. So, but your presumed cause, we'll get back to that one. The researcher must be able to vary or manipulate it. Can I vary and manipulate information in the sense that can I consciously, intentionally not gain information? Yes. The answer to that is yes. I could just look away or go la, 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 right? No. Yeah. But does time exist? No, we're not getting back to time. Ah, red herring. <laughs> I wanted to stay on it. I wanted to stay on information. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get, we can, we can do that another day, but information, I can definitely vary or manipulate information. You're not very manipulating time though. But I could, cause you, cause time is the conceptual well, medium. Hold on. Time is the conceptual medium in which all events in this, what we call the universe, take place, right? I can't vary or manipulate it. It's just always there, right? But information, let's say there's two paths, right? The rabbit's running, it's headed to the wood line, and there's two open paths. And once it gets to the, near the wood line, I turn away. I do not know which path that rabbit took. Follow? Okay. I can deliberately not gain that information. Or I could look and say, oh, yeah, that's, that's information. I just gained that path information. Follow? Yes. So I can manipulate information. I can't manipulate time. So this has got to get hyper-categorized. Everything that we say supernatural and abstract and the certain characteristics of each, you can't blanket, you can't broad brush them. Each one has to be brought up individually and evaluated. How about that? Mm -hmm. Fair? Yep, understood. Yep. yep. Good question, man. Yep, that's been on my mind for a long time. I didn't I didn't think I'd actually have to think today. <laughs> I, no, I knew you'd catch it. You didn't right. think, huh? You didn't yeah. think that you have to think. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think that I had to think today, so make you know, uh, put an asterisk by his name, Betty. And who could have thunk? <laughs> yeah, who could have thunk it, right? <laughs> put an asterisk by his name when I'm feeling lazy and stuff, he's not allowed into the hangout. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're not gonna run that way. We have to have a, a, a thought, right? And to be critical and to be asking questions. It yeah. gives you on your toes as well. You know? it, it does. It definitely does, yes. It's a good question. He has good questions. But there's no doubt about it. When I see his name in here, I gotta be ready. I gotta be on my toes. Well, I know that God can manipulate time. Oh, brother, we're gonna get into it. Yeah, we got the dial right. of <laughs> Get her, Arwen. Stopped. And it just Joshua and stopped the sun. So. Oh, you mean you wrote, you read a story where it was described that he did it. No, okay. it's in the Bible. That's truth. Okay, well, unfortunately, that doesn't really count in physics, but I appreciate it. But is, is, is stopping the sun stopping time? Or That's what I was going to say, like Arwen. Putting, that's just like putting your finger on the Good clock. Point. You not stop time when you put your finger on the clock. Well, the I day mean, is longer. The right? sun, you, God didn't stop time. Joshua still yeah. existed. He didn't just pause. He just froze the sun. Which is well, he made the time, the day longer. Get her, Adam. Basically. Right, so he expanded the cycles. Has nothing to do with time, really. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Got some extra time. <laughs> no, but it's important that about it because even then, you see, yeah. what Are you was getting experienced by right, man wasn't a time dilation. What was experienced was a change in the movement of the luminaries. Now, we express that as time. That's not time. Okay. 
Yeah, you could say that. That's fair. That's a good we point. We derive huh? our time systems from the celestial bodies. They are not literally time. No, Adam made a good point. That was a really good one. I was thinking on that line. I just didn't say it. Oh, what's that? Hey, James, what's up? I haven't seen you in a coon's age, man. Oh, sorry, Betty. You're the shouter outer. No, no, you did do the honors this time. Okay. Hey, James, guess who? We don't use the scientific method in our field. Some of us don't even know what it is. Oh, Baltard spinning space monkeys. I get it right? <laughs> <laughs> If we can go through them, James, here they are. Paleontology, anthropology, geology, archaeology, evolutionary biology. Yes, and I'm still laughing, whatever that is. Uh, theoretical physics, astronomy, cosmology, and astrophysics. There you go. There's the list. <clears throat> good? Are we good? Any more questions, concerns? Yeah. If we are bad, yeah, skeptical has a, a, um, a question. Who? Skeptical. Well, wouldn't he have to have? <laughs> <laughs> but that name, you well, too. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey, guys, how are you? Just like, uh, I've got a question hey, in the same context. Um, flat out. Uh, he brought up to the table about um, the distinction between abstract and supernatural. Uh, my question is as follows. Can abstract concepts like love, peace, beauty be varied and manipulated? Be what? Be varied and manipulated. You got to take each, each one at a time. So you want to do love? Yeah, do love. Yeah, yeah. Take that one. Yeah. Love, love's not abstract. Oh, brother. This maybe we ought to do another one. <laughs> and no, yes, the yes, results yes. of love are not abstract. <laughs> love in itself and is yes, an abstract we can experience. Love. <laughs> and we can manipulate love, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> that... Let's let John say the thing with love. I'd like to, uh, to hear him answer that. Whew, look at the time. <laughs> Look at the clock boats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, push, push the point. Uh, 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 honey, can um, we very uh, manipulate love? I'm John, coming, honey. Can you manipulate love, John? It sounds very, very dark. Uh, sounds honey, I'm coming. <laughs> you, you take the con, Betty. No, you, you have to have to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> Can you manipulate love? We might need to manipulate peace now. <laughs> you can ma manipulate peace, I think. Just stop fighting. That's a great answer. All right, let's go to each person. Final thoughts? No, 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 no. We haven't heard Would you. Yet. Hey, hey, I'll say something. What, wouldn't you have to define love first and then see if it can be manipulated? What is yeah, love? Yeah, well, well, do that. Define love for us. Love is patient. Love is kind. So is patience a uh, material, immaterial thing? Is kindness a uh, material, immaterial thing? Why did, you why did you help him, Paul? Come on, let, let John do it. <laughs> Now, the problem is if you're going to tie existential things into that word love, then it becomes a bit complicated. But one could say that falling in love and having a love bond with somebody else could be very manipulated, would not be advisable to do such a thing. Because usually lovers don't like to be very manipulated, if you know what I mean. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, I think that love is a sort of contain, um, contained, it not contains multiple other attributes, like Paul already well, said. Well, did, did Jesus well, teach something say, abstract then? Again? Well, if you say, right, if let's say you my partner and you love me, then I would say, I hate you. So then it would, so then it means like, I, by manipulating the word, by saying, hey, you would, reacts in a very 
a different way. So I, I manipulate you by manipulating the word, the language I'm using. Love, you know, probably uh, from that perspective, uh, love can be varied and manipulated. I don't know. That only can be done conceptually. And the necessary, level. And, the, and the necessary mm -hmm. antecedent for that would be God. Without God, there can be no love. Yes. I talked about um, <laughs> natural, supernatural, and synthetic earlier, and there's different bits and you know align it. What I would say is that within the supernatural, love plays uh, a much bigger role. Now we can see it's that's correct. Right. Yeah, but that's exactly me, what I mean. Jesus's message was the message of love. His commandment was to love one another. Now I don't think just because I can't put it into words. Um, is that it's necessarily abstract in that it is not of any substance. I think it's wholly substantial to every single part of me and, and how I function. What that means, I have no true idea in terms of uh, physical mechanics, but I know within the supernatural, it's fundamental to my being to embrace that. Um, and that will look after, that will then feed through into my physical. And, and benefit my physical. Um, so I, I can't stick it in this category of abstract as if it is just chemical effect. Mm -hmm. Somebody being yeah. There's a lot more to the word. Well, love binds and, and hate destroys, right? Love connects and hate destroys. Love. But again, like, um, <laughs> if you say eight. love is just chemical, right? Yeah, sorry, go on, Ari. No, I just was being a, a pedantic. Define but hate. The, hate the, is the chemical is a reaction to you experiencing the love. That's not, not somebody giving you a sandwich doesn't every single time. Um, if you're starving and somebody comes over, sees you starving, gives you there's love there, and that's what moves you, that's what affects you, that's what's transmitted. Um, right now, to pretend that that's abstract, that 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 feeling you get to me is false, it's too much. Um, actual expect real time experience when love passes uh, and you have a loving experience as to a non loving, you experience something more. There's nothing. There isn't necessarily anything different in the interaction except the love. Now, that can't then be abstract. You feel it. I, I always like to say that hatred is simply unanswered love. Now, that's a bit of an oversimplification, but I think overall that, that tends to count. Because if you're very compassionate about something, you're going to get more easily wounded by that thing as well if it completely turns away from where you need it to go right away from you all that and that is also yeah. why i think typically relations that break up like it ends up in hatred because now the love well, is so, an answer excuse so, me is it, I, is it still the so natural science and scientific method <laughs> discussion so hatred. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah thanks man appreciate that Right. Yes, Asterix. relationship advice hey. from Quantum Array. Hey, Asterix, oh, wow. Betty, the, the Asterix him. Variable. Hold on, what? skeptical. We got to get back to the Asterix. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <clears throat> so, on. what are we the, doing the now? The question still stands then. Is love abstract? Uh, uh we're going to round out. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I loved giving it a direction it has never taken. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm serious. It's time to round up. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Even if it wasn't, it's time to round up. But it's definitely time to round up. We're headed up on. Still gives us. Hey, Gui. Food for hey, thought, we... right? The whole love thing. It, it does. Right? It does, yes. Hey, yeah. Kiwi, it's 3.30 a.m. here. <laughs> yeah, I'd hate to see you on top of the time, man, because 
that you you've provided some good questions here today so uh i'm just joshing with you i i, I like those i like people asking questions like that uh really good so you're welcome back anytime sir but we definitely do have to round up so betty yeah take the con go down the list final thoughts okay well let's start with are we got some final thoughts final thoughts channel shout outs arwin right yeah yeah it was a nice show glad to be present some very interesting uh, people in the, the panel here i like that i like when there's a like a high level of concentrated intellect going around I like to <laughs> jump to those situations typically but yeah great show another another go at at the scientific method and everything that surrounds it and yeah keep it keep it up as for my own channel flat earth early bird show on my channel a r w i j n every day 2 p.m or 1 p.m amsterdam time and uh yeah i got a new layout so take a look and come over at the flat earth early bird show in chat hope to see you there all right then we got brian's logic and i had some final thoughts Hey, sorry for not being able to join in more. Um, yeah, um, you can't have a null hypothesis without a, an independent variable. Um, I think it's important that this this uh, point is stuck on because uh, people, more and more people need to learn it. Not the borrowers, but the people who are coming to the argument. People who are only, who are only co coming into the argument. It's good to, for those people to learn this, to learn what it is, because the whole world is built on... Um, it's built on a lack of this. It's built on everything but this. That's where that's why everything has gone wrong. It's a written empiricism. It's the only arena where people can make claims and not have to support them and get away with it. As I said to my friend, if I go onto a basketball court and claim I can slam bunk a, a, a basketball, I have to support it. I have to prove it. Otherwise, I can't. You know, but that's not the case in the arena we're in, unfortunately. But yeah. Good show. Sorry for joining me more. Uh, like and subscribe to Brian's Logic on YouTube. Uh, very enjoyable. Thanks, Kiwi. Thanks, Betty. Okay. Now we've got a broken curse, and he already asked me in the almost the chat if he had the chance to ask you a question. So, broken curse, if you want to ask a question. Yeah. I mean, it's not a super fair question, but it has to do with uh, the manipulation of time within the delayed choice quantum eraser. And if you don't want to go into it, I don't have to ask it now. Yeah, it's not a manipulation of time. But we could, we could deal with that on another occasion. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you seem like you're in a hurry to get out of here. So uh, Not in a big I'll, hurry, I'll but there is no manipulation of time in a delayed choice quantum eraser. Yeah, I, I didn't think so either. I thought it was just, you know, like a show of omniscience, but that's just yeah. my opinion. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. Okay, nope. is that it? Yeah. Yeah. So Firefly can't talk. Uh, she's at work. So we're going to Flat Arthur. That's yep, great show. <clears throat> great show, as always. And it was nice having an interaction with all of you. Arvin and Betty, maybe we are talking at length for the first time, but I know all of you through YouTube and everything. So I keep watching your live streams every now and then. And every, that's not good. Every time. <laughs> not every time. I said every. Uh, yeah, but you should every watch now it. And then. <laughs> Come on. Once man. in a while. Some people have lime in. <laughs> 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 uh, flat Earth is ironic, right? That's the trouble. What? said Flat Earth is ironic. That's the trouble. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but that's why I have to sort of address it because <laughs> you can't I have it. skipping out on, on different shows. I mean, we can't. At yeah. any rate. Quantum eraser, eraser doesn't remember me. I was hurt by that. Yeah, and that's because I hope, don't watch every time. I hope he will remember me now. <laughs> but yes, we are friends on Discord. So not an issue. And you can find me at the rate flat Arthur on Twitter. And there 
you will find my youtube channel also plugged i don't have many videos and i'm not very active still i try to just upload conversations with people i have here in india well well why don't you post that the link to your channel in the ballbusters live stream and i'm sure betty can post that in the chat yeah, right. yeah. chat is long enough. All right now you're saying? Yes. Yeah. It'll yes. take me a few seconds. Yeah, that's on. okay. We can move on from you. Just go ahead and post it right here in Ballbusters live stream, and she can pick it up and put it in the chat. Yeah. Okay, so my last words were that I'll be, uh, you'll find me here, Quantum Eraser, pretty often. But like I said, the timing gets really odd for me and you are the reason that I cannot maintain my schedule. I've been trying to sleep early and wake up early as well. But <laughs> here I am at 3.30 a.m. <laughs> did I, did I tell you Did I tell you that I'm considering changing the show time till 4 o'clock in the afternoon, my time? <laughs> <laughs> that would be what? <laughs> I'm only kidding, man. Yeah, thanks for coming, man. Come by anytime. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let me go to Gotcha Good. Are you there? That should be Flat Arthur's name. It is Flat Arthur. <laughs> Flat Arthur. That should be Flat Arthur's name. Gotcha Good. good. Yeah, did you get uh, it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch you. Must be your your accent. My God, that joke was an honor. Yeah, it was. It was good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just kidding.